Here I have a subassembly associated with an industrial robot, and my goal is to calculate the natural frequencies for this subassembly. So, first thing I do is go to Simulia Structural Validation and select from the three different simulation types structural, frequency, or thermal. In this case, I select frequency to create the starting point for defining my frequency simulation. And we can see that there's not much that's required. Uh, before I can run simulate. In fact, I could run the simulation immediately. I have all my parts, seven parts included. All these components have materials assigned. Connections between the parts are optional as are restraints. Now, I actually do want to define some connections. I want to bond everything together where they touch, so I hit the Find Surface Pairs option and you can see it found all these different touching locations. I can accept these and now I have bonded connections between all of those regions. I also want to define some restraints. So I need to have a few ball joint restraints in this simulation so I'll define one here and here and on the back face I'll define an individual ball joint restraint on selecting both of these regions together okay now I have all the restraints that I uh, am interested in defined and next thing I could do is uh, run the simulation to do that I go to the results action uh, part of the action panel and run the simulation. I have a few options here. The most straightforward is to simply grab the first 10 modes and I can run this on two cores. And now I'm running the simulation. The simulation is now complete and I can look at the results. The results that I can view include displacements, deformation, and displacement vector. And vector shows um, a visual indicator of the distance that uh, an individual node would travel. If I want to look at the deformation, I can look at that for any of the top 10 uh, modes that have been calculated. You can see we can step through these various modes in either the deformation view or the displacement view or the displacement vector view.